sixth grade, we're going to be working on math right now. So go ahead and get your math workbooks. Also get more paper clips because that's what we're using today. And I do have some math cubes. Again, if you don't have them, you can't use them. So just listen and follow along. When you get your math books, go ahead and turn to page 181. It should say lesson 5-5 five, five at the top. Again, it's page 181. Problem solving. Use a logical reasoning. Estimate the length of a pencil. Estimate means give an educated guess. So you're just going to look at it, eyeball it, and then say, I think it's so, however many you think it's going to be. So it says, do not measure. Guess how long the pencil is. So by just looking at the drawing of the yellow pencil, we could say maybe it looks three or four blocks long. Then you're going to measure your estimate. So I'm going to take my blocks, measure it, and it's four. It's four blocks long. So I guessed that it would be three or four, and then I checked, and it's four blocks long. So look at number one. It says estimate the length of each pencil using blocks to measure the pencil. So again, you don't have blocks, that's fine. Just listen to me and fill in the answers. So go ahead and look at number one, it's the red pencil, and estimate how many of these blocks you think it will take to measure. Go ahead and write it in the estimate about space. I'm guessing it's gonna be about two, but then I gotta measure. And it's three. It's three blocks long. So write measured length, three blocks. Look at number two. It's the blue pencil. We got to estimate how many blocks it's going to be. Go ahead and take time now to guess how many blocks it will take to measure. I'm going to estimate about three, but then I have to measure. It took four blocks to measure the pencil. Go ahead and write four in the space below. When you're finished, turn the page to 182. Estimate the length of each picture. Measure using the object shown. Measure between the red lines. Now we get to guess using paper clips. So go ahead and make an estimated guess of how long this branch is going to be between the red lines. And then write it down in your estimate spot. I'm going to estimate it's about three paper clips, but then I have to measure. And it's only two. So then I have to write two in the actual measurement length spot. Look at number four. Estimate how many paper clips it, oh, it's blocks. I gotta use my blocks. I'm gonna estimate maybe two. Two blocks to measure the flower. Oh, and it's three. So I have to write down three in the measured length. Look at number five. Draw a picture of an object. Tell how you can estimate and then measure the length of the object. Well, I could draw anything. We could use some of the examples that we had. Um, I'm going to draw a flower. So go ahead and pick anything you're drawing. You can draw a pencil, a flower, a ball, anything you want to draw. Then I'm going to guess how many blocks it would take. Oh, I made it pretty big, so it would take a lot of blocks. I only have a few with me. But if I guess, I'd say it'd take about maybe 10 or so blocks. And then I could use my blocks to measure. So you just estimate. And then measure. So go ahead and write this down for number five. Estimate, then measure. And draw a cute little picture of what you would have measured. 
oh, let me move out of the way so you guys can see it. If you need, a, again, I'm going fast, if you need to pause it to finish writing it down, go ahead and feel free. After you're finished with that, go ahead and turn to page 183. 183, and look at the top. It says problem solving. Use logical reasoning. Estimate the length of the pencil. Then measure each, then measure to check your estimate. Okay, so use blocks. Even though you don't have blocks, it's okay. I'm gonna do it. Use blocks to measure the length of the pencil. So I would estimate that maybe it was three blocks long but then I have to measure. And it's four. So the length is four blocks. Look at number one. Estimate the length of each picture, then use the blocks, or I will use the blocks, to measure between the red lines. The banana, ooh, that's pretty small. So I'm gonna say it'd be one block. But then when I measure, it's actually two. So my estimate was one, and my measure length was two. Go ahead and write those in the space below. When you're finished, look at number two. Estimate how many blocks. I'm going to estimate three. But you can estimate how, however many you think. Then i got to measure it. And it's four blocks. The measure length is four blocks. Go ahead and look, turn the page to 184 and look at number three. Go ahead and grab your handy dandy little paper clip so we can start estimating and measuring. Estimate the length of each picture, then use a paper clip to measure. Measure between the red lines. All right, this frog looks pretty tiny, but I think I'm gonna estimate that it is two paper clips but then I have to measure. Oh, and it's only one paper clip. So my estimate was two, and my measure length was one. And I wrote it down on the space provided. All right, number four. Ooh, that's kind of a long thing to measure. Number four, I'm gonna estimate seven. Go ahead and estimate how many you think it's going to take to measure. Then go ahead and measure it. Oh, it took five. It took five paper clips to measure it. Write down your answer. And then look at number five. Guess your estimate. How many paper clips do you think it'll take to measure this object? Write it in the space provided then measure it. It took me three paper clips to measure that object. So I'm gonna write, my measure was three. We're gonna go ahead and skip number six. So do not worry about number six. When you finish writing in all your answers, try to complete pages 185 and 186 on your own including number eight, where it says write about it. So do 185 and 186 on your own. Then show your parents, because they will have the answer key. All right, bye first grade.